I'm Mrs. P. Tarleton. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's a follow-up to the Bitmoji scene video. I wanted to go over five basic easy editing. So the first one I want to go over, let's go ahead and set this up. If you didn't see the other one, you may want to watch the previous video. I can link it here. Okay, so I've inserted all my basic images. And as you can see, they're just kind of all over. So we're going to be cropping things down, moving things around. And the first thing I want to show you, I want to be sitting on the couch. So here I am. And if I right click, I can go down to format options. Any of your images, you can get all of these options. And what I want to do is I want to go to size and rotation and I want to flip my image. Notice the blue rectangle around my Bitmoji. Click there and it will rotate me around. So I flipped it and then just drag on the corner. I look miniature. Let's drag and make me to be the correct size for this couch or I can shrink my couch probably a little bit too. Click on the couch. You can shrink it down a little bit. It does look kind of oversized. Now I look kind of big and slide me right up there. If I want to take this plant, I can do the same thing, resize it. It might be a little too big and I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, so while we have the plant highlighted, I want to put it behind the couch. It looks like it's behind me. It looks like I'm sitting on the plant, but I need to put it behind the couch. So I'm going up here to the top, arrange, order, and I'm going to send it backward. I can send it all the way to the back that puts it the furthest layer it can go back, or you can use your control with your up and down arrows. I can see that it just needs to go behind my chair, my couch, and we're good. And then I'm going to slide it over into the position where I want it. I think right here is good. If you need to move it, you want to make sure you have it highlighted and not your person because if you click here you're highlighting your person now to help that and make it easier because right now all i can click on is here to get my plant or here um, i can crop this down it's not going to crop my image but i can bring that frame down so all i did was double click on my bitmoji and i get this black frame and i can crop that empty space down so now there's a very small, a much smaller space for me to click on in order to change her. Once you've got the empty space removed, click off to the side anywhere. And now that's the Bitmoji. That's the couch. And here is my plant that I can move around. So that helps once I've cropped down the images so that I can grab a hold of them and move them. So I don't know, how many tips is that? We've gotten a few in here. So that's layering, sizing, you size right here with the corner, and you can also go over here in your formatting options. That's if you right click, you'll get your formatting options. If you're not getting your formatting options, it's because you don't have an image highlighted. Okay, so this is what you can do to resize your image. Just change it here or drag the corner. If when you're resizing, you want to keep the same aspect ratio, so the same proportions, click lock aspect ratio. Let's take a look at this table. Notice when I inserted it, it has two. I'm not sure that I want two. I'm not sure which one I want. I'm going to double click and I will crop it. And if I control C, control V, it'll give me another one. And I can double click it and now click off of it. Oops, double click it. And now I want to get the other one. So I'm going to stretch it out, the other table. I'm not sure which one's going to work best um, for this scene. So I thought I'd get them both. Hmm, that's not bad. Stretch it out. Now, if I'm not so sure about the color, I could change the color of this table here. Do I want it all silver? Do I want to stick with the 
silver and black theme, what you do is you right click it, you get your format options, and you're going to scroll down to recoloring. On all of your these, you have limited features, but features nonetheless, you can have all different color tables. Oh, I kind of like that. That's my color, I guess. So that's how you recolor things. I can recolor me. I can recolor this sofa, right click on the sofa, get my color options if I wanted to change it. Oh, wow. This is just so me. Those are my colors. Just saying. But the black look kind of fancy. If I want the black, I just have the coloring set to no recolor. So we've gone over layering, resizing, flipping your image, recoloring, and cropping. In the next video, I'm going to go more advanced. I'm going to show you how to take out backgrounds and crop to a specific shape. So if you want to crop something to a specific shape or take out backgrounds, your Bitmoji, you like the person, but you don't like all the added stuff in it, I can show you how to do that. And the next video, we'll be doing that. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time. Step out and be uniquely wonderful you. Bye.